y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Valerie and today I'm going to be showing you one of my new favorite desserts it's a no-bake dessert using Oreos so if you love chocolate I really think you're gonna love this Oreo chocolate delight recipe now let's go ahead and get started this is an easy dessert to put together and everyone's gonna love it you'll need a family size package of Oreos for this I'm using my food processor to grind those Oreos into fine crumbs. But if you don't have a food processor, you can put them in a gallon size Ziploc bag and crush them with a rolling pin. Oreos are like my most favorite cookie ever. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite cookie? Now I'm taking those crumbs and pouring them into a 9 by 13 inch dish. Scoop out about 3 fourths of a cup to reserve for the topping, then set those aside. Now melt one stick of butter and pour it over those crumbs. Stir that until that butter is completely mixed in with those crumbs and you're able to form a crust with it. I like using a measuring cup to do this. Just press those crumbs into the bottom of the dish to form an even layer. You can put that in the refrigerator to chill while we start on the next part. To a large bowl, I added one 8 ounce block of softened cream cheese and one cup of powdered sugar. Beat those together until they're smooth and well combined. Now fold in eight ounces of whipped topping. I know I was supposed to fold this in, but I thought it was easier just to use my mixer. It got the job done. I pulled that Oreo crust out of the fridge then I covered it with that cream cheese mixture, then spread it out as evenly as possible. When you do this, try to do it very gently and be extra careful not to disturb that crust on the bottom. Now you can set that back in the fridge while we make the chocolate pudding layer. I'm just using that same bowl I mixed the cream cheese mixture in. I added in two and a half cups of milk and two small boxes of the instant chocolate pudding mix. Mix that together until that pudding thickens. That'll take about two minutes. I like to scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure I get everything mixed in well. This will end up being very thick, but that's okay. That's how it's supposed to look. Now pour evenly over the top of that cream cheese mixture. You have to be careful spreading this layer out too. You don't want it to get mixed together with that layer underneath. Now for the final layer, I'm using another 8 ounce container of whipped topping. I spoon this evenly over the top of that chocolate pudding layer, then spread it out gently. Now for the topping, I sprinkled over those Oreo crumbs that I reserved from earlier. And of course, I ended up crushing up more Oreos and adding those on just to make it look pretty. Now cover this and let it chill for at least six hours until you're ready to serve it. I know there are several steps to this recipe, but it's actually really easy to make. Not to mention, it is absolutely delicious. I really hope you give this a try. I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. enjoyed today's video I have lots more like this go ahead and click into this playlist right here don't forget to subscribe down below it's completely free that way you don't miss out on any future videos and I will see you in the next one